Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the benefits of going out in the sun. Enjoy the sun. Have the sun expo be exposed on your skin. This is how it boosts your immune system. It's very good for not only your immune system, it's also good for your mood. But before I talk about that, if you're new to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And right next to it is a bell notification. Facebook fans, I always appreciate a growing audience. Please hit the like button down below. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. And if you want to talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, have a consultation, please hit the link below and then it goes to my website and we go from there. Thank you very much. What are the benefits about being out in the sun? You always hear about be, go out in the sun. The sun is fun. The sun will do you good. Now, with everything going on, if you're sick, okay, you need to go out in the sun because not only the sun's going to elevate, the, elevate your mood because the vitamin D is phenomenal for the brain function, but also it's going to help with your immune system. There's two types of defense on the immune system. There's one, it's your immediate response, okay? It's your Th1 response. This is the first responders. And then we have the delayed response, which is the Th2 response, a little bit more delayed, and this is where the antibodies are, uh, are made, okay? So the first line of defense that we have is our skin. Our skin, the mucosal membranes, the digestive enzymes in our gut, our stomach pH, the normal flora throughout the digestive system. So all in all, we are fighting millions of bacteria, viral pathogens, and parasitic pathogens every single second. This is why being out, being out in crowds, being out in the sunlight, being out and just enjoying yourself is needed to boost your immune system. Eating dirt will boost your immune system. Sleep, staying inside your house and being in a bubble will not. It will actually hurt your immune system. This is why people who stay inside, once they go outside, they start getting sick. And this is why the reason why people are outside all the time, they don't really get sick. Okay? So with the immune system, okay, sunlight. Now, we absorb sunlight through our skin. And then it goes through the liver pathway and then it gets converted through the kidneys to 125 dihydroxyvitamin D. It's the active form, otherwise known as calcitriol, through the kidneys. And this is where kid, the, kid, the liver and kidney pathway is very, very important, so always take care of your liver and kidney pathway. But also do beyond the sun, because this is where we get absorption of, of vitamin D. How the immune system works is, so we have a foreign pathogen, a foreign substance. What is it? Bacteria, viruses, it could be parasites. Again, we are bombarded with millions of bacteria, viral, and parasitic pathogens every single second. We need it to build our immune system. So we get an antigen. So the Th1 response, which is the immediate response, the cellular immunity, these are the first responders. They have these cells, CD4 helper cells and killer T cells. They engulf. Now we have the delayed response, the humoral antibody response, the Th2 response, the B cells and the macrophages, what they do, then they, then they develop antibodies. How do you know which is a foreign pathogen? Well, the Th2 response says, okay, that's it. It's like a marker. That's the bad person. That's not. And that's due to the Th2 response. So we have the immediate and then we have the, the delayed. Now, sunlight is phenomenal because what happens now, we have different... Th1, Th2, T17, and T regulatory cells. So we have the thymus gland, which is in the center of our chest, and we develop the immune system during our early years. And as we get older, it just kind of withers away. It's still there, but it just withers away. And there's a lot of these, of these cells, but I just want to talk about these four in particular. So you have the thymus gland that produces the Th1 response. The Th1 response, this is your first responders. This is the immediate Okay, this is, this is the inflammation. So what sunlight does, because you want to balance between the Th1 and the Th2 response, it lowers, it's good for you, so it lowers the reaction of those first responders. You don't want those first responders always, always, always attacking. This is why you always get sick. Always get sick. So it lowers that. Also too, it helps with, we have what's called cytokines. Cytokines is the signal that the body that we have in our body. It's like the alarm signal that says, okay, it's pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. There's different, there's different cytokines and you want to balance between the two. 
So what do it's going to lower that cytokine response. You don't always want to be infl you always don't you don't always want to be inflamed. Also, too, it's going to help increase what we have. We have what's called programmed cell death, otherwise known as apoptosis. You want these cells to know to die to wither away, so we don't have an overabundance. You don't want overcrowding of cells. So that's a Th1 response, and sunlight helps that. In addition, sunlight helps the Th2 response, the specialization of cells. You want the antibodies to really specialize to understand which one is friend and which one is foe, because what's going to happen, like an autoimmune response. Autoimmune response, your body doesn't know if it's friend or foe, and that's more of a Th2 response. So again, it's going to help specialize which one is good, which one is bad, and also we have the other interleukins, which are anti-inflammatory. It's going to help stimulate those. Sunlight makes you feel better. Now we have what's called this Th17 to T regulatory cells. Th17 and T regs, now those are the modulators. Those are the ones that turn on and turn off the immune response. So with TH17, it's all, again, this is all good for the sun. It helps, again, increase apoptosis, program cell death. In addition, for people who have autoimmunity and chronic fungi infections or fungus infections, this is where sunlight's gonna do you really good. Because it helps balance that out. It helps balance out that response. In addition, the T regulatory cells. Now, What's the Treg cells, what they do, they balance out the T1 and T2 response. Because you don't, if you're, if you're TH1 dominant, okay, that means you're always getting sick. You're always getting sick. Why? Because TH1 has to do with inflammation. If you're TH2 dominant, okay, this is the chronic sickness. This is the asthmas. This is the allergy response. So the T regulatory cells help balance that out, okay? It helps with the immune tolerance. It helps regulate the immune response. And spoiler alert, the T regulatory cells, they love vitamin D. Where do we get vitamin D from? Either the sun or supplements. This is why usually during the uh, winter months, uh, November through March, if you're not taking a vitamin D supplement, this is where you're always getting sick. So you have the T regulatory and the T17 cells, they help modulate the immune system. And the Th1 and the Th2 cells, though they're either the first responders or more like the antibody response. So then we also have these other cells too that love the sun. Remember, the sun does the body good. So we have these, the first responders, we have these cells called the macrophages and the dendritic cells. The macrophages, those are your primary white blood cells. Again, what sunlight does, it helps, it helps those. What it does, again, it helps lower that immediate cytokine response. Remember, you don't always want to be sick. And, the, and those cytokines are Th1 cell driven. So it helps stabilize that. Dendritic cells, how does the body know which one is friend or foe? Well, you have these dendritic cells that actually engulf a pathogen and present it to the immune system to say, okay, this is foe. Don't worry about that. That's friend. This is foe. And that's called the antigen presenting cell. Those are your dendritic cells. They lower that. Why? Because you don't want always everything to be presenting to the immune system because then what happens? You get an autoimmune response because your body doesn't know it's friend or foe. So again, it helps with the immediate response. In addition, with the Th2 response, the B cells, the antibody cells, this is more of a slower response, this is adaptive immunity. With the B cells, it lowers the replication of the B cells. Sunlight does. Why is that so good? Remember, if you are building up too many antibodies, then your body doesn't know what's friend or foe. Okay. And also, too, we have uh, immunoglobulin response called IgG. And that's measured on a blood test, okay? And what IgG is released, it's a primary um, blood test to, to find out, okay, what's making you sick? Is it bacterial or viruses? And what it does, it lowers that secretion of the IgG. Because remember, you don't always want to be so sick. Okay, so... Sunlight does the body good. Get out, be on the sun. If you can't be on the sun, increase your vitamin D. 10,000 IUs. 
Take it with food because it's, it's a fat soluble vitamin. That's going to help with your immune system. Not staying inside, going outdoors. Okay? I hope this helps. If you have any comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.